today we're going to talk about nail bats. Loaded for bear, loaded for bear. He ain't got a reason, he ain't got a care. Cause he's loaded for bear, loaded for bear. Ooh boy, I am jazzed up today. Welcome back to the lodge, everybody. I got to tell you, hat's staying on, hoodie's coming off. Why am I so excited? Because we are talking about melee survival weapons in the apocalypse today, everybody. We got all kinds of things. You got mallets, you got hammers, right? You can use bolt cutters to whack somebody with. You got hatchets. I love hatchets. You can use grandpa's old spade if you want to, pop Pappy. You got the good old fashioned Billy Butcher crowbar here, not bad. Uh, but I gotta tell you, I think my favorite one is good old fashioned Lucille herself, Walking Dead Negan Nail Bat, everybody. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Making yourself a nail bat. So, gonna wanna grab yourself a couple of genuine Louisville Sluggers. Holy hell, these are great. Also pretty affordable. If you got 40 bucks, hammer and some nails and a little bit of grippy tape, you can make yourself a one heck of a survival weapon. I'm going to show you a couple ways to uh, up armor a genuine Louisville Slugger, which is meant for baseball and nothing else. Uh, so, all right, here's a tip and trip I learned from two guys, only going to say their first names. Robert, Tanner, love you guys. Learn this from them. If you're not going to put spikes on your bat, and uh, again, this is, you know, just for when you're hitting the cages, go ahead and slip a sock all the way down your bat. And this is going to do a couple things for you. First of all, if somebody sees you putting a sock on a bat, they're going to be like, yeah, that's a crazy guy. Go ahead and leave him alone. Secondly, nobody's going to think much of it. But the thing is about having a sock on a bat, if somebody goes, whap, whap, if somebody's going to whap, dome you, dome you, going to hit you in the dome with a bat, dome with a bat, right? I don't know about you. But the first thing I'm thinking of somebody's coming down on me with a bat is, ah, I'll grab the thing, right? And let's say you, boop, let's say you grab, uh-oh, you grab a regular bat. Now you're in a struggle, right? Ah, I'm going to get this bat from you. Now, if you slid on your bat's raincoat, uh-oh, phallic in nature. But if you socked up your bat and you go, whap, and somebody grabs it and they go, ha-ha, I got your bat. And then you go, slip it do No, you don't. And then you go, bat, bat, bat. Whip it, whip, whip. See, that's why. So put a uh, put a rubber on your bat or a sock on your dick. I don't care. You get it. Sock up your bats if you're not going to put nails in them. I like adding special grip to a, a bat because I find in an apocalyptic situation where there could be nuclear winters, uh, acid rains, you're covered in blood because you're the best beast in your uh, in your raider gang. Well, your bat handle is going to get a little slippery, right? And you ain't going to have chalk always to keep your hands up. So I like putting grip, grip tape on. So I think the first thing I'm going to show you guys with the crotch cam, uh, we'll cut to it, is uh, how to grip tape up your bat like a, uh, like a stud. Get your genuine Louisville Slugger. And I like hockey tape. I don't know why I like hockey tape. There's lacrosse tape. There's baseball tape. But hockey tape's the way to do it. Maybe it's because I'm a Casey Jones fan. And a big fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I just dug that, uh, you know, he used hockey tape on most of his stuff. Anyways, go ahead and get that. Get that going. I'm going to show you guys how to wrap the bat. Probably, uh, probably do it in double time or double quick. But a few things I like to do. Find the end of your bat. Whatever way you're going to put your grip tape on. I like to wrap a couple times at the beginning. And then we'll work our way up the bat. So work it around. Keep it tight. We're going to go all the way up. Now, that ain't bad. That's pretty good grip right there. That's not bad, but... I like to add a thread down the grip to really give you something to hold on to, right? So you can see the difference between these two grips. That cord right there, we're actually going to make with the tape. So, how do we do that? Take the tape, leave it on the spool, 
pull it down like that and just twist the tape twist the tape twist the tape and you're gonna get that nice thread right there of tape now you take this thread we're gonna wrap it right down around the bat Some guys will kind of wrap it around twice going up, making a kind of a cross threading. I don't really like to do that. It's kind of overkill. Uh, I know I sound like a psychopath right now, but God damn it, I love making a good grip. <laughs> All right. I guarantee somebody, somebody comes for this, they better have a blaster because the only way to get this thing out of your hands is going to be... You get it from cold, dead hands, tell you that much. All right. All right, there you have it. Now, got it threaded all the way, right? We're gonna wrap it around to seal that in there, all right? So one more time. Once more into the breach, friend, now we're gonna grip taper up again. Like a snow speeder wrapping up an ATS or an ATAT -AT rather. Boom. Rip it at the top. Press it down. There you have it. Got your grip. All right. Next, we're going to talk about the business and whoop, boom, boom. Talking about grips done. Now we're going to add some, a uh, <laughs> little bit. We're going to add some nails. For this next part, everybody, you're going to need ooh, some nails, bucket of smaller nails. At some point, you will need these bolt cutters again trusty hammer nail right there bat right there rather and then uh i'm gonna go for let's see six or seven round what's this first one got one two three four five six you guys can see this first one here got six around six around the top uh now this may get tricky you can go down first or around first. I'm going to go down. We got one done. Uh, I am going to go run outside in the mud like I did last time and bash these fuckers in. So uh, let's do it. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll cut away, show you guys me pounding away outside. Added benefit of making this thing outside of your house while you're on your knees smacking away, uh, your neighbors are going to go ahead and just leave you alone for the rest of the year. And probably as long as you're in that house. But, all right. Not too shabby. All right, voiceover work done. All right, so uh, now that we have the bat, all did up. You can see we got nails here, nails there, nails there. Uh, you could leave it like that, but uh, honestly, to up the scarability a little bit, we're gonna give it a little bit of a haircut. So grab your uh, wire cutters, and then uh, spear point here, and cut. Mm, muzzle toff, right? Now, these two rows right here, I'm gonna trim down. There we go. And Laheim, all right, there you have it, everybody. Not too bad, huh? Got yourself an apocalyptic whooping stick, huh? This one is a, a little bit scarier, right? Then uh, you got your low key one right here. So uh, 
I don't know. I went with like a mm, couple rows of nails, couple rows of little nails, couple rows of smaller nails on that one trimmed up. Now here's something. You got old sake. Again, if they have a blaster, they might blast you. But I got to tell you, this will get the job done. Hmm? Especially if you got a hold up in your house. Holy shit, I think there's a mouse in here that scared the hell out of me. There you have it, self-defense and the apocalypse. Not too hard to come by. So until next time, everybody, keep your protein intake high and your weapons loaded. You're going to be all right because you're surviving the apocalypse with Lou. You know what? I'm surviving with you. Put that down. It is getting chilly out. So uh, like a scary Mr. Rogers himself. I'm going to put on my hoodie, and I wish you all a very happy week. Take care of yourselves. Be kind, and, uh, you know, this one's for fun. Uh, I hope, uh, you know, have fun with it. I hope you don't need to use weapons in the apocalypse. But if you do, this one's pretty cool, man. All right, y'all have a beautiful week. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Okay,